بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اهلا بيكم مع فيديو جديد من فيديوهات اتعلم ما الصح في الفيديو ده هنتعلم how to represent the rational numbers on the number line before we start let's know together what is number line let's know together what is number line a number line it is a straight line the first item number line is a straight line if we look at to this number line straight line has no ending point and no starting point okay it is divided into some points some points this is point this is point 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 and so on okay spaces between points are equal space this space equal this space equal this space and so on spaces between between points are equal each point represent a number each point has a number each point has a number okay on the middle there are zero on the right of zero there is positive integer on the left of zero there is negative integer okay this is the number line the first concept we studied the second concept we studied before proper and improper fractions proper and improper fractions first proper fraction has two properties has two properties numerator less than denominator and the proper fraction less than one for example if we take 2 over 3 or 2 thirds here numerator is 2 and denominator is 3 2 is less than 3 and 2 over 3 all less than 1 ok this is called proper fraction improper fraction numerator is greater than denominator and the proper fraction greater than 1 for example 9 over 4 9 over 4 numerator is 9 denominator is 4 and the 9 numerator greater than 4 denominator and the 9 over 4 is greater than 1 okay for example represent the number 3 over 4 or 3 fourths or 3 quarter on the number line solution 3 fourths is a proper fraction this implies that 3 fourths less than 1 and 3 fourths greater than 0 greater than 0 this implies that 3 fourths is lies between 0 and 1 is between 0 and 1 we look at two denominator denominator here is 4 so we divide the space between 0 and 1 into 4 equal spaces into 4 equal spaces like that here 0 0 ok sorry here zero and one we divide the space between zero and one into two into four equal spaces because our denominator here is four okay our denominator is four here 
here 0 here 1 so our denominator here is 4 we divide the space between 0 and 1 into 4 pieces 1 2 3 4 okay zero we put zero on as a fraction with denominator we put zero as a fraction with denominator four okay like that and we put one with denominator four one with denominator four equal four divided four so the next point after zero is 1 over 4 2 over 4 3 over 4 we need to represent 3 over 4 this is point which represent 3 over 4 and here this point ok example Another example represents the number 7 over 5 on the number line. 7 over 5 is an improper fraction, is an improper fraction. And 7 over 5 greater than 1. Okay, we can put it, uh, we can put 7 over 5 as a mixed number, like that. 7 over 5, 7 equal 5 plus 2 over 5 we separate this fraction into 5 over 5 and 2 over 5 5 over 5 equal 1 2 over 5 this means 1 and the 2 fifth 1 and the 2 fifth okay so 7 over 5 greater than 1 and less than 2 7 over 5 greater than 1 and less than 2 this implies that 7 over 5 is between 1 and 2. It lies between 1 and 2. Here, my denominator is 5. So, we divide the space between 1 and 2 into 5 equal spaces. Like that. 5 equal spaces like that. this one and these two we divide space into five equal spaces one two three four five okay these five equal spaces and we put one as five over five we put one as five over five two we put it as a fraction with five ten over five here five over five 6 over 5, 7 over 5, 8 over 5, 9 over 5, and 10 over 5. We need to represent 7 over 5 on the number line. And this is 7 over 5 at this point. At this point. And this is 7 over 5. Okay? Thanks and waiting with me for the next video. Salam alaikum.